The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray feeling good, Lewis. I'm going to start out the show talking a little bit about the the uh, trading day we had yesterday. It was a good day. Uh, the best part of it was we had six people from the London group that we had uh, way back on April 1st came in. And one of the guys said, look, he said, uh, I did the thing in London with you. And he said, I didn't believe it. He said, so I had to describe today just to see if uh, it worked and he said it worked exactly like you said it did and he said you've got a a lifetime member up until thursday whatever comes first anyway we got a very good response uh, from the people uh, as, as a matter of fact 50 percent of the people that attended the thing sent me an email i don't know what happened to the other three folks but uh, anyway it turned it out to be pretty good i'll go over that in just a little bit we got to cover the s p very closely here because this is uh, as by basil said this is really an important day uh, i posted a chart here of the things that we gave out yesterday you know, you can see there were there were uh, eight different uh, powerpoints or videos and stuff that we used to help do the teaching and Basically, what we teach, of course, is AB equals CD. That's what we try to do. And this morning, uh, when I got into my, uh, the chart isn't showing. There's no chart showing. There should be just a little picture of a, a desktop with the uh, different things that we sent out. But I'm going to bring a chart up next. So let's just be patient here, and we'll see it. This morning, early this morning, I got one of these from the folks here hold on uh, let me get this up here so we'll be able to see it easy enough this happens to be the ABCD that we had here uh, in the crude oil this morning now this is a 15 minute chart you'll notice uh, folks that we had a big high up here at 115 we came down there was a perfect uh, you should be able to see it now boys and girls let's hope that we can You'll notice that there is the ABCD pattern right there okay and then I received it when of course it was down in this area and uh, he says, where will it go? And I says, well, we should take out the low. And he said, just remember what we talked about. We talked about watch, watching how the market's going to tell you what it's trying to do. And that's really all you're going to be doing. You don't know what's going to happen next. Nobody knows that. So remind yourself, you, don't, you have no control. Once you put the trade on, don't look at the machine. They don't care whether you're looking at it or not. And just go look at something else because if you're watching what's going on in the machine, you're making a bad mistake because you're watching the, the figures either adding and subtracting against your account, and that's not good. That means you're talking about money, and money doesn't make this thing move. Your decision what makes it move. Anyway, we're going to move on here, and we'll get back into this. But I wanted to show you what happened to the crude oil because he followed through with this, and he said, I am totally amazed at what really happened that I did it myself. And I'm very happy that he did, and that's one of the reasons why I do what we do. But there's the, there was the number where he sold it at. You'll see the market broke down sharply and then rallied right up to the exact 61, uh, 382 retracement, just like we said it would, just like it did here. There was your 382 retracement right there. There was the next one right there. And what did it do? It's off the page, folks. We are down uh, quite a bit. We dropped $2 a barrel from that last 382. So that's been a, a huge, uh, huge trade. But the thing is, it builds their confidence. And that's, uh, that's the thing. Once you can see that you can do this for yourself, boy, that's a really, really good feeling that you know that you help somebody do that. And that's the main thing. And I, those of you uh, that were at the seminar, you know what happened yesterday. I had a, um, a minor uh, tragedy in the family. My daughter up in Denver has a, a giant um, Saint, uh, Saint, uh, greater Swiss mountain dog. And she got tangled up in his in his uh, his uh, her walking cord, and he he took off running for a rabbit or a squirrel and flipped her up in the air, and she landed on a curb, broke her femur on her leg and broke her hip, and she had to go in and have her hips uh, hip hip replaced and pinned, and it was really uh, very she's doing great you know she's very athletic so. 
Uh, she's she's doing fine now, but that was a little bit of a little bit hairy thing that I had to go through uh, through yesterday evening and into the night. And we made it through. Everything was great, but uh, it was another little distraction that I had. It was good because I kept my mind off of it. So that's uh, neither here nor there. Then that was one. Then we got another one because we like trading the euro, of course. And we brought in these are I'm, I'm not making these up, folks. I got these from the folks that uh, actually were at the attending thing yesterday. They were doing them themselves today. And that's what makes me feel good. This is just a, a chart here on the euro. You can see here it's eight minute chart. You make a perfect Gartley up here. Just beautiful ABCD cannot be any more perfect than that. You can see the 382 that occurred in the middle of the night. And uh, th this was from one of the London folks. But anyway, that's what's really good. Of course, it's come all the way down now and broken uh, below the lows. So that's uh, acting uh, pretty much uh, as uh, we expected it to. And I think we had uh, one more that I wanted that they talked about. I uh, see that one. I think that was it. Yeah, no, maybe that was it, yeah. Yeah, that was it. That, oh, no, it was the gold. Hold on, there's one more in gold. We had a beautiful one in gold, too, just a second. Same thing, good old Gartley. When in doubt, Mr. Gartley will come. There's your ABCD. You can see it right there, right out of 382, went all the way down here. We've been hanging around here most of the day in this area, so it hasn't made new lows yet. But at one time, of course, it had an $800 profit in it. And so you put your stop at break even on this, and that way you don't lose anything. And that's the whole key uh, to looking at it. Folks, uh, tomorrow's guest will be um, uh, Stan. No, tomorrow's guest will be Tim Bost. And then on Friday, we will have Stan Harley. Uh, Jeff Huge was supposed to be our guest today, but he has a head cold. He's got some allergies and stuff, nothing to do with COVID or anything like that. But he's, uh, he's going to be back with us next week. So that'll be good, too. Let me explain to me my two cents worth uh, of what I think is happening in the market. Uh, I'm going to bring it up here so you can uh, take a quick look at it right here. Uh, Let's just get it right here. Here is the E-mini S&P. We spent a great deal of time on this yesterday, folks, because people like to trade the, the E-mini S&P and the Dow Jones and stuff like that. And this is what I was referring to them most of the day. I said, you can see here that we are very, very close to a 382 retracement here yesterday, uh, right near that 4100 level in the E-mini S&P. And said, so you have to watch that. We were trading it. 40.84, 40.86, somewhere in that ballpark. But what, we're, what we were trying to show them that each of these rallies, going back here, you can see there's your first 3.82 right here. There's your second 3.82 right here. And this is your third 3.82. And I said, if the market starts down here, I said, this is going to be a pretty nasty day just because this is a five day rally okay this was a, a four day rally this was a three day rally so this is telling you this is a major rally and yet it's gone nowhere and that's not a very good sign now the the nasdaq actually made it to the 50 percent level of course it gave it up very quickly but this is what we were watching so i said here's what we have to do i said i can't be with you all day because you know we're finishing up around uh i think it was around two o'clock uh yeah, around one or two, around one o'clock, we were finishing. So there are a few more hours to go. So I said, I'll be right back, and I'll tell you what I said. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn. booming inflation where your purchasing power is eroded there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold vista gold's flagship asset is the mount todd gold project in the northern territory of australia this is australia's largest undeveloped gold project we are talking a world-class gold project in a tier one mining district this is a large-scale low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve and a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner 
Ready Development Stage Gold Project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks. I posted a chart of what I uh, said in the video last night that I sent out. I said, now, we believe that that top has been made in the uh, E-mini S&P and also in the Dow Jones. So watch for a break and then sell the first 382 retracement. And there you see it this morning in the Dow Jones. There was your 382 retracement. Now, that was sent to me by someone from uh, Denmark that happened to be listening to the show who is a regular. And uh, also, I wanted to point out another one that was very important, and I think I can get that one up here, and that is the E-mini S&P, and you'll be able to see exactly the same thing. And that basically uh, you'll be able to see here as we get it up here. There it is. You'll see there is the E-mini. We had the break. You know, we're still uh, right here. We have a little bit of a rally here, and then bada-bing, bada-boom, and now we're – we're heading down. This was the move last night, folks. You see, this is the one that missed the, the 382s. The 382 on this measured to 4101. We got to 4094. And that was a perfect A, B, C, D. And I missed that because we were already closed. You see, I said, be prepared for it. But we couldn't be trading it. So I said, wait till the market breaks and sell the 382 retracement. You could have done this one. Or if you missed that one, you could have done this one, or you could have done this one. All of them were there, and that's really what you're trying to do. And on this one, you can see we have over uh, top, lower tops. Those are probably the safer ones to do, but uh, that's pretty much uh, what we're looking at as we were we were going through uh, looking at these uh, here this morning. Again, folks, it's not about how much money you make; it's about how much money you don't lose. Our biggest. Uh, we had two potential monster wins. We didn't start until exactly 9 o'clock. And at 5 minutes to 9, we had a signal in gold and we had a signal in crude oil. We got filled in the crude oil, okay, but we missed the gold uh, by about a dollar and it broke uh, 17 bucks. So we, we didn't get into that again. It never made a 3A2. It just went straight down. The crude oil, we did sell it, but that was our only loss on the day. We got stopped out on the high tick to the tick. 
believe it or not, losing $400 on that one, and it broke $2,000, and it's still breaking. <laughs> it's down $7,000 from where that sale came in, but we missed that. Uh, but the others turned out okay. We had two really nice trades in bonds, uh, almost uh, 800 bucks, had a $500 profit in the uh, the uh, $500 profit was in it, corn, and then we had another one, I believe, I can't remember, and we had four wins, uh, one break even, and uh, one loser so we did okay on the day I was shooting for about six trades on the day so we got in seven and so it turned out about then I got the teaching in and that was good so very very it was it was a, the response was really good uh, and like I mentioned gee I got a lot of emails and uh, anytime I can you know send this information out to folks to get them to you know, start a look at some of these things. And these patterns were shorter term, of course, because we're day trading, but you can do them same things on the larger time frames. You know, we do these, you know, all the time, folks. We have been we have been bearish the doggone treasury bonds for so long and we, that it, it's just uh, and believe me that market is in big trouble even though it's rallying today mainly because when the stock market breaks really badly like today down over 500 points the uh, the what do they call these dudes the flight to quality dudes come in and uh, guess what you know two days later they're saying what flight to quality are we talking about things have changed folks these bonds are going to go a whole lot lower that's uh, the main thing that you want to remind. Here was another one. This was one of the bond trades. I'll I'll bring this up to you today because I happened to be uh, I kept that one on because we were saving that uh, to to, uh, to to show the reasoning behind it. This was the 382 yesterday uh, in the bonds. They broke. We 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 took well over a po half a point out of it. And they dropped a point and a half to the downside, but that was after we had already uh, finished for the day. So. That was another one that we were watching. But before we get back to this, hold on one second. I want to, I want to get to the bond chart uh, on a little bit different uh, time scale here. We'll probably have to do it on a. Uh, let me. Yeah, I want to do it now. I'm going to have to do it here with the uh, treasury notes because the bond one is just not coming up the way that I want it. It's got the shorter term. I'm looking for the longer term one, and here it is for the uh, treasury. Uh, notes, you know, which are the uh, five-year and ten years. These are the ones that determine the. Uh, and we should be in a little bit of a rally in here. It hasn't rallied much, but uh, you know, the, these the, the Fed is between a rock and a hard place, folks. And that's where this they're not going to be able to help anybody out, and we're not going to get help from any of these other folks out there either. So let's uh, let's remind ourselves uh, of that. Now there was one part of the day yesterday that I really didn't have any chance. To talk about and that was the uh, cryptocurrency market because I I had some things that I wanted to share I'm going to do it in a different format uh, probably here in our live room here because I know some of you folks don't believe in uh, cryptocurrencies in fact I know so little about them that I really shouldn't say much other than looking at the chart and it charts perfectly you know look at the high up here folks there's a perfect A B C D look at that there's A, B, C, D, time and price. Everything comes together up there at 68,000. And we drop all the way down to 25,000 where we've been now. We rallied up a little bit here. This is what is really a dead cat bounce, folks, because once we get below 25,000, we're going to be probably looking at right around 19,000. And remember, 19,000 is where they brought out, that was two and a half years ago, when they brought out in January, they brought out the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, introduced the cryptocurrency Bitcoin, and that came in at 19,000, and from 19,000, it went down to 3,100. Do you remember that? And that was the end of the Bitcoin market, all right? Well, the end of that Bitcoin market went to 67,000. And so there's a lot of things happening in these markets these days, folks, with the regulations and stuff. So we've got to be prepared. If we get this big break here, um, my friend John Jameson, who writes a newsletter for me each week, says it's going to be a lifetime opportunity. And I have to believe the dude because, boy, he's been spot on all the way uh, looking at these things uh, for sure. Now, I want to get a, a quick little update here on the weekly gold chart. Give me one second here because we're going to be switching over to the August gold here uh, this today. Well, in fact, we already have. So uh, we're, we're trading the August gold contract now. But this is a weekly chart 
that we're looking at here uh, in the gold market. We're getting very, very close down here, folks, to the uh, 17, I said 1776. It's actually, well, it's 1776 in the August. So when it gets to that level, down about another $40 from where we are um, right now, then that is going to be a place we really need to pay close attention to it because that's a 78% level. And uh, that is also, if you'll look at the red line, I can highlight it for you. You can see this red line coming through like this. This is basically a 20-man line. And if it lines up just exactly with that, that acts like a fulcrum for some reason, catapulting prices a lot higher. At that point, folks, you don't have to risk an arm and a leg in the gold market. You can probably get by with about an $8 stop. And when you stop a, a stock, $800 and something that's selling for $180,000, that is really cheap. So we're going to be watching that. And also silver, watching silver really closely uh, at that $20 uh, an ounce level. We'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the gold Sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, in those few minutes while we've been away, I posted the chart of the crude oil. As you can see here, this thing has just... Uh, made a flying Walinda to the downside. It's dropped another $1,200 since we were on the air just a few minutes ago. And we're all trading below the 1.618 expansion now, folks. That's a 
That's a very, very negative thing for crude oil, but it's very oversold right now. That completes the large A, B, C, D. This is your B, C swing right here. There's B, B, and C. Your A is way back here, and that completes right about here, right around this 107 level. Uh, if, in fact, it is going to hold uh, that level, we'll have to uh, let the trading gods decide. Folks, uh, ask me if I'm, I'm I have one position on I'm short a little bit of stock not much and uh, uh, and that's basically all I had all I had on uh, for I was so tired I was lucky to even make the show today but I wanted to uh, you know be able to you know tell you what happened and, and and I know it's hard for them to get a replacement right away but uh, I enjoy doing this so it's not too much of a problem for me at all now let's look at another one here because it's in the news quite a bit that is the, the food part of the business folks uh, this is our number one grain in the world uh, this is corn uh, as you can see here we had a 382 retracement here this was one of our trades yesterday we sold the uh, the corn uh, at uh, July corn at 809. Uh, we covered it at $8, and you can see now it's breaking down uh, even more from uh, where we were looking at it uh, yesterday. So uh, there's a there's a possibility that we'll get a little bit of respite here, but boy, it's going to be little, folks. We're in the middle of the growing season now, and uh, so, you know, what the old adage is, uh, the corn is high as an elephant's eye on the 4th of July. Boy, it better be, because if we don't, we're going to look at some other things. I heard something on the news yesterday that I actually could not believe, and that came from the uh, the guy's name. I can't remember his name, but he's over in the U.K. He's the equivalent of Jerome Powell. He's the uh, Europe uh, – the, uh, uh, the England's – uh, central bank and the first central bank board of governors for for England was none other than Mr. Apple himself you know the guy that catches things you know falling out of the trees do you remember that dude's name does everybody remember his name you remember Tommy don't you Thomas Edison no it wasn't Thomas Edison no come on folks you all know who it was anyway you'll see as you get down to this level right here yes it was not Thomas Newton <laughs> Anyway, let's move on to the uh, to what we're looking at. Uh, we'll be able to see it was Isaac Newton, of course. Anyway, uh, Newton was the first chancellor of the Exchequer, and uh, the, one, of the rare, one of the rarest coins in the whole world, folks. There's only six of them that are still available, and that's from uh, I believe it's 1796 when he became the chancellor of the, of the Exchequer over there. Uh, they had several uh, gold coins uh, uh, stamped with the Jean Vey machine and uh, there are only uh, six in existence I happen to know someone that owns two of those and the others I believe three are in the Smithsonian and one is unknown but uh, it's a six million dollar coin and uh, it's really uh, it's really quite a piece you can go look at it it's called the Newton dollar I believe and uh, if you go and google it you'll be able to see uh Hey, it's really quite uh, quite spectacular. Okay, let's uh, move on here to take a couple other things. Uh, one of the things that I didn't get to talk about, well, better not do that. That might make somebody angry about that. Um, I have to get approval before I talk about that one. Hold on one second here. I want to talk about one other future here that is uh, – that is uh, really interesting, and that is the coffee market because uh, it's at. We talked about this earlier. We're getting really close. I haven't checked it this last couple of days because I've been too busy, but uh, let's move it on. I haven't traded coffee since Hector was a pup, and that dog's 17 years old now. It's been closer to 50 years since I've traded coffee, but it's it's a very liquid traded market now. But boy, if we get down to this level here in coffee, that's down around dollar uh, ninety. Uh, a pound. I think we got to take a quick look at that because uh, that's a perfect Gartley ABCD sitting exactly at the 382 retracement. Uh, if you want to buy things, you know, Gartley said in his book on page 222, the best trade is to find a market that has gone up and is now making an ABCD correction, that is the trade that you want to get because you're buying a correction in a major bull market, i.e. reverse on a on a uh, bear market, and that's uh, that's what you want to be uh, looking at as you as you see some of these things unfold here uh, today. So we're going to be watching that over the weekend. The, can anybody um, give me a quick sec? Get back here into the uh, into the uh, uh, chat room for just a second here. 
Yeah, how do I get back into that chat room? I don't know how to do that. Uh-oh. Nah, what did I do wrong here? I did something wrong. Give me a second here. Ah, uh, here it is, Tiger Tech. Can someone tell me uh, in the chat room there today, where's uh, where's coffee trading right now? Could someone give me a rough idea? Andrew Bailey. Thank you, Seagull. That's the dude that was on there. Yeah, he was on there. And here's, and I forgot what he was going to say. He said something that I absolutely could not believe. Okay, here is what I could not believe. He said, unfortunately, folks, there's going to be thousands of people in the United Kingdom that are going to die of starvation in the next in the coming months and years. He said that. I mean, are you kidding me? Okay, coffee is below that level. Yeah, yeah, he's going to die. He said the people are going to die is what he said. Yeah, and that's, uh, it's really, I, I doubt that too because, you know, there's going to be food coming around. There is a possibility of that. What is that number in the coffee, by the way? Let me, uh, let me get, get a, let me take a quick look at that. Oh, two, oh, no, no, it had, wait, wait, what would you, hold time out, folks, I'm losing, uh, I'm losing my thought here. So it's 216. No, it's got to get down to 194 in the uh, uh, coffee. Just below two dollars a pound. Uh, we'll be watching it. Everybody will send a food. There's a there's a real probability here, folks, that something really bad could happen. I, I'm not I'm not uh, you know trying to scare anybody, but and we'll be able to see it coming. If we have a bad crop here, and I, we haven't had a bad crop here in so long, I can't even remember. We have high prices. It's because the, everybody wants the food. That's just demand, okay? But if the supply screws up, if the supply screws up, nobody can control that. And we are only one crop away from famine, folks. And if we have to start getting one of those uh, deals where, like, like they have in India, where you've got 110 to 315 degree heat, it's going to be uh, it's going to be bad. So far, everything looks good. There's plenty of water. The weather's beautiful. It's not too hot. The crop's doing good so far. But if something turns bad, then uh, then that's it. Uh, coffee, I could live without. That's not a problem. Now, if the if the uh, the grapevines that make the wine, they have problems, then we have to talk a different story because we all have to have our wine. Anyway, I drink about two glasses a week. So <laughs> I used to drink a little bit more, but that's when I was going through a divorce. I got rid of that, and now everything's okay. All right, let's talk a little bit about gasoline because that's in the line. It's always in the – we're in the middle of the season, the driving season now. And you can stop and think. I'm sure gasoline's down today with the price. You can see the ABC level up here at that 406 level. We were expecting it to top up in here some uh, level this week, but I uh, haven't really updated it very much. But we've had this big break now. We've broken $8 a barrel in crude oil over the last two days from 115 down to 107. We sold it yesterday, folks, at 115. Uh, 05 and we got stout at 115.35 and then it look and see where it is now oh well 877-927-6648 tomorrow we have the Harley man himself up to boss on tomorrow and Stan Harley on Friday we'll be right back Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
Paperwhite's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted the chart here of the uh, uh, not gasoline, as you can see here. There's the ABCD we were looking at. Went about uh, two cents above it. Now we've broken really strongly. We're broken below the old highs, which is a good thing. Like I mentioned, we're more than $8 a barrel lower now uh, in the crude oil. So it looks like uh, it's going to be heading lower here, especially with this big big down if you want to you know practice like what we did uh, on the trading day watch for a 382 retracement folks if it's really bearish that's in fact what it's going to do even wheat as crazy as wheat has been folks we have we're having one dollar swings in wheat like it's nothing <laughs> when i started trading corn back in 1966 when i started trading corn the average weekly range was four cents and now look at this. We have a dollar up, a dollar down in wheat like it doesn't even exist. Of course, it's at a high level at around 13 bucks, 12.70, 12.80, but uh, it's jumping around quite a bit. But if you look at the 382 on it, gave you a beautiful 382 sell yesterday at that uh, 12.56 level. I don't know where it's trading at now, but that's uh, what we're watching here. Uh, so far this morning, it was looking at out here. Okay, and if you want to get through today, I know Al says it's really tough, but 877-927-6648, and we'll try to answer your questions uh, if we can. Like I mentioned before, we have Tim Boss tomorrow, Financial Cycles Weekly, and then we are going to have uh, Stan Harley on Friday next week. We will have um, Norm Winsky again, and also uh, hopefully Shane Smolian if we can get in touch with his group of attorneys. And then the third one, of course, would be um, Jeff Huge. He should be uh, back in the business of uh, being our guest again. He should be feeling a lot better, he says, anyway. Okay, let's move on here to another one of the charts that I did want to cover here. Uh, it's one of the, the main ones, of course. And this is really important, folks, if you're uh, watching these things. Uh, there's two of them here that are coming due that are going to be really important that they hold these levels. Let me get this up here so we can take a look at it here. This is what is going to be for Softy, uh, Microsoft. Uh, if you'll notice here, we have the double ABCDs coming in down here at the 242 level. That completes a major, major ABCD uh, to the downside right into this level. Very, very important. The other one that is extremely, extremely important, and that's the most actively traded stock in the world, 
none other. I don't know if it's the most active straighted one, but he, I know it's good. I know it's a big one for sure, and that is none other than Mr. Appel. Well, that was one of the trades we did yesterday. That was our very first trade. Yes. Yeah, we did a trade in Apple yesterday, uh, easy enough to do. All we did, folks, uh, on the Apple yesterday is we sold this 382 retracement at, uh, I believe, 149.40 or 60, something like that. Immediately made $2 and a half. That was our first trade. Uh, and that was the – we had four winners and one break-even and one loser. Anyway, that's what we were looking at yesterday. But if we go below this 139, folks – that's trouble in River City. I know it's the greatest company in the world. It's got more money than God. But uh, God has a tendency to tighten up the purse strings when things get tough. So uh, this thing could get nasty. This is a, folks, this is a bearish chart. I know it's a great product and everything is great about it. But we there's trouble out here. These markets are trying to tell you something's not right. And I'm sure there's a lot of things out there that should be not right, as we can hear from the political environment, the, uh, the health environment, the uh, war environment. I mean, there's a lot of different things, and there might be one outlier, you know, a black swan event that could be coming, and you don't want to get caught into something like that. That's uh, a main thing, you know, to look at. Look at some of these stocks, folks, that have taken that have taken major hits. Let's just talk talking about major hits here. We're going to look here at our good friend uh, Netflix. Never belonged to Netflix. Of course, I'm not a social media person, but look at this. This was 700 bucks way back in November, right around Thanksgiving. Big A, B, C, D, multiple three drive to a top pattern. Bada bing, bada boom. Look at this. The big gap down. It goes right into the gap here. Well, rallies back to the 382. Can't even fill the gap. And then boom, 382. And boom, 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 boom. But people that bought it for a buck and a half 20 years ago or 15 years ago, they're still sitting in River City. It's trading for 170 or something. You know, no big deal. <laughs> it is if you were at 700. And now it's at uh, one, uh, 160 or whatever it happens to be. I'm not even, you know, absolutely sure what that, uh, what that price is going to be. And then finally, the last one I wanted to uh, talk to you about, of course, is uh, one of our dearest and closest friends, Mr. Zuckerberg. As we get up here to see right here, you'll be able to see where we are. Here's with Meta, or where you want to call it, Facebook. You'll see it's almost not not nearly as bad as uh, uh, Netflix yet. But you can see here we got nothing but lower tops and uh, equal rallies here. So it it's still you know heading to the downside. All of these look negative, folks, and there's none of them that look positive. So that's another reason why you want to look. I don't know the fundamentals, you know, but. Uh, when you stop and look at our bond market, you don't have to figure out too much about fundamentals. And if you look at our stock market, the same thing. It's trying to tell us something. So let's uh, pay a close attention to that and what it's trying to tell us. And that'll give us a you know rough idea of uh, where we think we're uh, where we think we're going to be. I think we're down well over 600 points now in the Dow. Aren't we? I don't I didn't check lately, but I think that's uh, probably uh, where we are. So look at that. We've had a nice little pop here in gold here. We got back up here to the uh, 1820 level, uh, and that's a, that's a good sign. It's uh, making a nice little, if you like ABCDs, and if you like ABCDs, we certainly got one going now in the gold market. So pay attention to that one, folks, up here at 1821. Always nice to look at ABCDs. They're always nice to look at. Okay, now, second thing I wanted to cover uh, is the uh, – shucks. I did the euro already. I'm going to do it again here because uh, I want to bring this to your attention here because we've got a, a really interesting situation. I have to show you this because we had a uh, – ah, doggone it. I want to get the daily out. Hold on. It's going to take me a second. Hold on. There's what I want to go to. Just a second here. Whew, boy, how I ever made it through this show, I'll never know. But I made it, I think, anyway. Okay. Oh, we got a caller. Are you kidding me? From Savannah, Georgia, one of my favorite places. Zach, what can I do for you? Hey there, Larry. Uh, I know you've been working on uh, this anagram of the 1987 crash uh, yes. in stocks. And uh, that bonds rallied considerably during that period. I was wondering uh, about other assets like crude and commodities. Did you see them roll over uh, kind of the no. way we're seeing them roll over now after a strong no. bull peak? 
no, gold was strong during that time. Uh, of course, remember, strong, it was, you know, it was uh, bouncing back from, uh, you know, it went from, it, it topped in uh, 1980, okay, and in 87, the crash came, gold was trading, oh, still around 280, something like that. It made its final low at 230, not until, uh, you know, 2000, so it was in a bear market you know, for well over 20 years. And also, crude oil was just in a trading range, and uh, bonds were on their way to 170, so that was, the, there was a big difference. They're, they're not the same. Thanks a lot. Have a hey, good one, welcome, trade well. Mr. Moore, you take it easy. May the force be with you. <laughs> we'll be right back, folks. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Okay, folks, I posted what I think is the most important chart of the month. Uh, that is this uh, chart that we're looking at here of the E-mini S&P. Remember that we did some counting of waves. If you remember going back to the 1987 stock market, we were just chatting with uh, Zach from down in Savannah about that. I'm going to post it up here so we can see it one more time because the sequence of numbers – that we're looking at is the same whether we're going to have a big correction or not or even a crash i don't know i don't really care but we are in this zone right here folks in other words from the 5th of may you add 17 days that takes you to the 22nd that would be equal to what we were doing here in 1987 it took 17 days from october 2nd to the 22nd or to october the 19th of uh 
1987 to complete that cycle. That was the best buying opportunity, folks, of the 1980s. Uh, it was really that good. It was setting right at a 61% retracement of the low from August the 9th, 1982. And away we went from that level. So it's going to be really – and the 22nd, we're coming in here. We're looking at Monday, folks. So that's going to be really interesting. The 23rd, of course, will be uh, coming in on Monday. So watch for something really big. If we're making a you know, big type of a panic bottom on Monday, that might be a chance to look at some really good buying opportunities uh, for some of these things. And if it's wrong – you know, maybe it's not a big deal. Remember, we only got Thursday and Friday to go through, and then we got Monday. We only got a couple of days before this is over, and it certainly looked like it wants to make a new low down in here, if, if nothing else. So maybe it just makes a, a double bottom or a slightly lower low. Then we'll then we'll find out where we are. So that's what we're trying to pay attention to here. It's nothing more than a simple time count, folks. It has nothing to do with anything astrological or anything like that. I'm just counting the days to what happened in 87 to what happened now. That's uh, pretty much what we're watching here. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. Please do something for your neighbors uh, because they are in a lot of trouble, many of them, even here in Tucson. And uh, you can't believe. Anyway, we'll see you all tomorrow on the flip side with Tim Boss, folks. We'll see you tomorrow.